Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. Today's lesson, we're going to be working with Excel, and we're going to be covering conditional formulas, or if-then statements. You can see i got one right here in the picture above here. Now, as with all my lessons, I have a full write-up on my website, analyticsforall.org. You can scroll down here. You can see there's the full write-up with pictures. Also, I have right here, you can download the practice file if you go to my website. And again, the link will be down in the description. I'll have an Excel practice file, so you don't have to create your own. But let's just go ahead and let's pop over to that Excel file. Let's go ahead. We'll zoom in and pop over there. All right. So an if-then statement in, in Excel or anything else is basically saying, you know, I want to look at a value and say, if a condition is true, I want to do something. If not, I want to do something else. So what I got here, let's start with this. I have this list of numbers. I want to look at this list of numbers, and I want to determine if it's a but greater than 10, I want it to be labeled as high. If it's lower than 10, I want it to be labeled as low. Okay, so what do we do? So we always start a formula with an equal sign, okay? And the command's going to be if, and you can see you got description coming up here telling you what's going on. Also offers op other options if error, if a nay, da, da, da. Let's start, put the brackets in. And now it tells you what it wants. It wants first to see your logical test, then a value of true and a value of false. So what we want is we want to know is the number here to the left, is it greater than or less than 10? So let's click on the number and we'll say it's greater than 10. Now also, you notice up here, you can write your formula up here in the bar if you prefer. Just make sure you click on a box first and you can work up. I can work up here just as easily. Sometimes it's less space. It, it feels a little cleaner. So then I'm going to say, if it's that, I'm going to say high. If not, I'm going to say low. And I'm going to close it out. So I've got my condition. This is my logical test. As you see, it lights up there. High value of true and low value of false. Okay, let's hit enter, see what happens. Okay, see it says low, which is good. Okay, now notice something cool. I want you to see we had A1. So that's this value, A1. If I just grab this and drag it down now, it automatically goes to 2. And see, now if I hit on this cell, it actually says A2. So it's automatically going to go down for us. We don't have to write it out for each box. We can just grab this little, see that little box in the bottom corner here. Grab that, and once you get the plus sign, and just drag it down. Or you can just double click, and it'll go and fill the whole list in for you. So as you see now, anything greater than 10 gave me a high. Anything less than 10 gave me a low. Now let's go ahead. We can also do this with words. Let's say, again, we'll start our if, and I'm going to move it up here. See, I just fired it in the box, and I'm going to jump up here. If, and it always gives you the description what to do next, logical test. I'm going to say if D1. Now, I, I know, see, watch, let me get out of here. Okay, it's got an error because I hit it too early. But let me just empty out of this. See, I know this is D1. So I could just actually type it in myself if I want. So I can say if, I don't need to click on it. Clicking on it's easier, most people do. But equal sign, always if D1 is equal to Bob. And it's just a single equal sign. It's not like Python where you have multiple. Then we're going to say yes. Else we're going to say no. Because all I want to know is in this list, how many Bob, is it Bob or not? Okay, so yes. I got Mary comes out as no, and again, if I just click here, it does more. All right, so there you go. So you're gonna, I know you're going to say to yourself, well, how is any of this actually practical in real life? Well, here's something I'll show you we can do here. I'm going to bring over, now this is obviously just made up data, but let's say I've got a, a log with a whole bunch of messages, and some are okay, some are fine, and some are fails. I want to know how many things failed in this list without having to count on and if this list gets really long, like you're looking at a, a, a log file out of a computer, I mean, these lists can be millions of records long. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say if. Click on the F1. Equals. We want to know if it's a failure. It's fail. And we use the double quotes in, in Excel. One. And I'm going to say zero if it doesn't. Okay. And I got an error. I don't know what my error. Is let's see. Let's 
Okay, really stupid error. You notice what I forgot? I forgot my if statement. So that was really not too smart of mine. So now if, now it'll work. So again, look at the formula. If F1 has failed, one zero. Okay, now we just run this through all the way down. It finishes it all. Now I can do a quick sum formula, which is just equal sum. And then I just highlight the entire list. Go down to the bottom. Close out my formula. And there you go. I have eight failures in the list. Quick way to do a quick count on a have list you have of stuff. So that's if then statements in Python. Uh, and this is analytics for all. Come to my website. I've got plenty of videos. Also, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Hit and let me know. If you've got any messages you want me to do anything different in kind of new stuff you want me to test out? Uh, I'll be more than happy to make a video for you. And like I said, my site covers a whole lot of things. We've got Excel. I've got SQL. I've got Python. I got R. Uh, a little bit of everything you want to learn to learn analytics. And again, thank you for joining me. This is Ben Larson with Analytics Brawl.